I'm a highly effective person, but I think that that's because I'm very organized, which allows me to be super efficient. <laughs> and that's kind of the magic of leverage for me. <laughs> so my work days are highly structured because in order to help as many people as I can, I have to work from a very organized calendar. Many of the tools that I use to be effective in my business are the very tools that I've shared with you here on Kim Daily TV. So instead of telling you about the tools, I thought maybe I'd show you the tools. So come with me. I'll take you on a commute up to my office. Welcome to my office. Every day when I come to work, so this is my desk, the first thing that I do almost every single morning when I come here is I try to get up here a few minutes before my first call. The first thing that I will always do is go right to my declaration statements. Do you see where they were, folks? Right underneath the stand-up desk. So these tools that I've shared with you on Kim Daily TV, they're not just things that I've read in books. These are things that I live. This is how I've achieved much of who I am today in the franchise industry, in my business, in my life. Declaration statements are a key to that. Because of my declaration statements from 2018, I now am an international best-selling author. Guys, this is my book, Franchising Freedom. So I was one of all the authors, here's me. I made this dream come true of becoming an international best-selling author because I declared who I was. I wanted to be an international best-selling author. And I said that to myself out loud with passion every day for one year. But when I didn't get motivated to write the book, I took it off of my declaration statements. It wasn't on there in 2020 when this opportunity actually came to me. A publisher from the UK found me and the rest is history. And this is the book. So declaration statements are a really big deal and they really do work. The more you declare who you are, the more you will become the person you're declaring. Here's the thing though, guys, it works in the negative as much as it works in the positive. So if you're going to create your life with the words that you use, choose good words. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Now I have my second book, Mission Matters, came out this year. This publisher found me after watching me on a podcast for the first book, so we'll get to that in another video. <laughs> All right, so that's my declaration statements. So another tool that I've talked about on Kim Daily TV is having clearly defined goals for what you want to accomplish. So at the beginning of every month, I look at my pipeline of candidates and I figure out who will be attending Discovery Day and be finishing their franchise investigation process. And I write those people on a simple piece of paper. So I am not a complicated person. I like paper and pencil. Then I have my list for this week. So every Monday morning when I come to my office, I get clear in my head about what I have to accomplish that week. The idea is that everything I'm trying to accomplish, it's on paper, it's in front of me. Over here on my little kind of vision board, I just have words, purpose, character, influence, opportunity, integrity, vision. These are words that embody the coach that I want to be for all of my people. A picture of my God, a picture of my favorite pastor in the world, the most influential person in Kim Daly's life. I have, of course, my children. And then, of course, I have my bling from the last Franchise Conference in Nashville, where I made the Franchise Honor Roll as the top franchise consultant. You know, it's also important to have reminders of who you are, things that you've accomplished, because we all have hard days. <laughs> and sometimes you just need to be like, yeah, you know what, I am good. I have done a lot in my life. And so I keep an article that I had published in a magazine. I'm a contributing author to a franchise magazine called Franchise Connect. And I keep that as just a reminder to myself every day that I am a person of influence, that the things that I wake up and do every day, they matter to people. Over here, I have all of my people that I'm currently working with. These are my files. This is my stash of gold. 
paper, people, paper. I like it simple. <laughs> and then, you know, we've had Lance Farrell on as a guest, and this is his newest book, which I haven't read yet, but I'm about to read it. I keep my office really clean and organized, and I keep my life uncluttered and simple. These are some of my keys to being successful. I like it simple, I like it clear, and I like it easy. It also helps me to be really, really efficient, which again, helps to make me more effective and gives me the opportunity to help more people. The environment that you create for yourself is so important to your success. It has to match who you are and how you feel inside. My environment inspires me. I have reminders everywhere I look all day long of the person that I am as well as the person that I want to become. But tools are just tools. They are like the engine in the car. But without the fuel, the engine doesn't go. What is the fuel? The fuel is the clarity of your dreams. And guys and gals, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. <laughs>